Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Typically, I am a fashion merchandising student at Kent State, but I am home right now in Maryland for winter break, just kind of taking you guys along my days. Honestly, they haven't been too full, which is why I've kind of taken a few days off of vlogging is because just really nothing fun or exciting has been going on. But it's Monday, December 28th, and I was like, you know what, new week, fresh start. Let's just kind of, you know, take you guys along and see what, see what happens. So I don't know if this is gonna be a few days a week in my life just We'll figure it out as we go. It is actually already noon and I just got ready for today's photo shoot. My sister Madison and I are going to head out and just take some last minute New Year's looks featuring some new Princess Polly things. I actually just filmed a haul with their stuff yesterday. And so today I want to take pictures in the pieces. I have to post an Instagram photo as part of my collaboration anyways. So I'm starting off in this cute little black top from them. It's one of those cowl necks and then the back looks like this. It's like entirely open. My jeans are from Express. Heels are from Shein. It's actually a little bit nicer out today. It's like 45 right now. So thankfully I can shoot like tinier tops without being completely freezing. And then in here I have three other outfits packed. Two of them are dresses and then one of them is just a bodysuit and a pair of jeans which is why um, it looks like, you know, not that much stuff. And then I'm using my mom's hunter duffel today. Her, it's actually more like a tote. And I love carrying this one because my outfits were a little bit smaller. I figured I'd use this. Got a coat just to throw on and we are headed out of here. I spent majority of the morning just in bed getting up today's blog post, which is my top 20 outfits of 2020. One of my favorite blog posts to put together every year. I love looking back and kind of just seeing what outfits I've created, how my style has evolved, how I've changed, like just in looks and maturity all that kind of stuff so that was really fun um i uploaded that this morning and then i got an instagram photo to go along with that up so all right i'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna head out of here and i'll keep you guys posted so madison and i just shot four different outfits it is very sunny we don't ever really shoot in town at 12 30 usually we'd go at like three or four and so we are kind of struggled with the lighting a little bit but we ended up coming up with four different locations in town which is always hard to do but the last two that we shot at were just this little brick wall and then there's a little bit of stone over here and this is the back side like where you park to go to hornet's nest so now we are going to pick up chipotle i'm treating madison to lunch as a thank you for her help and because it just sound i've been craving chipotle for like so long now so i'm wearing a sequin dress into the place because this is all i have to wear so i hope they're ready for a show a tragedy has occurred. Oh there is sour cream seeped into the bottom of the bag. I got a side of sour cream because Madison always likes extra sour cream and they kind of they kind of chinsed on the sour cream and then it exploded. It's everywhere. It's seeping through the bottom of the bag. Hopefully this tastes good and I just got so many weird looks for wearing this. But you know what? We love to see it. Are you so excited, Madison? So. So. Don't worry, everybody. Our Chipotle made its itself at home. Okay, today we got a bowl with a tortilla at the bottom, white rice, black beans, chicken, cheese, sour cream. I usually would get corn and pico in mine, but you know, since I'm sharing with Madison, I just got a side of corn and I'm gonna mix okay, it I in. I probably haven't had Chipotle in like six ish months and it was so good it literally it hit the spot all right i came upstairs it's actually three o'clock now and i've done a couple of things so first things first i got dressed for the day this is what i'm wearing my bodysuit is from princess polly and my jeans are from express they actually just came not yesterday but the day before that and i really like them they're like black wide leg kind of pants i don't know figured i'd give them a try i really like this combo i'm gonna wear them with these cute two-toned boots i got I'm not really planning on going anywhere besides Target later, but you know, still figure I'd get dressed for the day. I'm kind of digging the straight hair. I never ever wear my hair straight, but Madison got for Christmas, she got the this new curling iron. I mean, this new straightener. It's the T3 and I like used it the other day and I really liked it. So I tried, I used it again today. Um, I got the curling iron. I haven't used it yet. I've used it before. My roommate Emma last year, she had one and I loved it. But every now and then I kind of like will straighten my hair once and get on like a straight hair kick for a week or so. So that's what I'm on right now. Anyways, okay, then I sat down and I pulled out a bunch of things from my closet that I didn't want because I needed hangers and it, I needed to film a new TikTok for Poshmark. I just uploaded a few things to my Poshmark 
not too many um i am planning on doing like my usual closet clean out on my instagram style buys closet too i'll leave it linked here and down below but i did list like 10 ish things to my poshmark because um i have a sponsored tiktok coming up with them so i'll show you guys the draft if you guys know the tiktok trend where you like have a bag and you like pull out the pieces and you're like oh, oh my god and then you put like a picture or a video of you wearing that item that is the route i wanted to go for this collaboration so i just sent in the draft there's a chance i may have to edit something or make a couple of changes but just envision the hannah montana like music playing over top because i'm gonna have to mute it right now for copyright reasons but this is what it looks like So I just sent that draft in for review and listed those items to my Poshmark account, like I said. Anywho, now that that's done, I need to hang up all of these items. This room just, it, I cannot keep it clean. It's always a disaster because there's always new items that need to be hung up. So I filmed a Shein haul yesterday featuring this huge box of clothes. And I also filmed a Princess Polly haul. Um, and that is what items I shot earlier today. And now I need to hang it all up. This is never going to be enough hangers, but we're going to try to make it work. I'm going to rearrange some clothes and just kind of, you know, make this look a little less of a mess. Just hung up all that stuff and my clothing rack is looking mighty full. You can barely move stuff, but I rearranged some things. I pulled out some more items for my closet sale. Instead of doing this one in person, this one's gonna be on my Instagram stories. I will be shipping items. So make sure you're following me on that Instagram account, Style Buys Closet 2, so that you guys don't miss out on that. I'll probably be uploading all that stuff one of the first days of the year. I don't plan on doing it this week, but you know, maybe next week. So now I am going to download the pictures that we took earlier because I want to get those outfits up tomorrow if I can just because they are New Year's looks and you know it's already the 28th so let's sit down and sift through them. Alrighty here is a little sneak peek at the looks we shot. One of them was just in front of a solid brick wall. We shot one in front of this little stone wall which was a cute bodysuit and jeans. I want to see if I can edit out this piece of hair in front of my face on this because I really like the photo but it was really windy shooting this one. Then here was that little black dress and then the sequin number that we finished up on that little stone wall. And then I just downloaded a bunch of different videos and I started downloading the vlog footage that you guys are watching right now. So, yay. All right, just edited some photos on my phone. Now I've got on a pair of boots and this bag. I absolutely love this bag. It's like one of those like double purses with the cute little like circle chain crossbody actions from Romwe. So good. Love it. I will leave it linked down below. Um, but we are headed to Target to shop the little like after Christmas clearance sale. We do it every year. So we're about to head out. I'm excited. I feel so cute in this outfit. I really wish I could take a real picture in it, but the sun's down. So okay. The plans guys. Apparently we can't go right now. It's we have to eat dinner first. It's five o'clock. So, we dinner at five o'clock. No, no, we eat at six. <laughs> Well, instead, we're taking an intermission to eat Oreos. <laughs> Show them what you're wearing, Madison. <laughs> I like your outfit. Hey, guys. Mom goes, where did you get your Converse from? I go, my bad for you. Those are the oldest shoes she has. I got those for her for her 14th birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> we're having dinner, guys. Today, we're having white rice and Mongolian beef. It's and broccoli. steak and broccoli. Mom wants you to know that she is feeding me a vegetable today. Ridiculous, guys. Valentine's, Valentine's Day stuff. 
Candy and Valentine's Day. Yes, you will. No. I hope I have a Valentine. <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky. Mom said I have to find. Why aren't you gonna send me something? You don't love me? Nope, not at all. Oh, this not is one of your Valentine's Day is one of your favorite holidays. Why is it my favorite holiday? You've always loved it. I have. Well, you always made a big deal about it for us. Good mother. They have nothing here that's on sale except for candy. I'm just a good mother. Whoop de doo. Cleared out. Christmas was only two days ago. What on earth? Oh well. We're getting a couple other essentials while we're here. <laughs> what is up with the dude? These are so good. Oh wait, we need that kind of mint. Take my recommendation now, thank me later. Alright. Michael Turner is trying the orange. That's a lot of brown sugar you put in there, buddy. Okay, so in tomorrow you have to come back and update us on whether or not you have your taste, okay? Good morning guys, it is Tuesday morning and I'm realizing I never ended off the vlog last night. Nothing interesting happened. I literally just sat in bed. I started working on my Style by McKen's Turns 5 blog post, edited some photos, and I finally finished up a TikTok that I had been spending hours doing. Basically, I just wanted to film a TikTok with all 365 outfits I wore this year. There are obviously a couple of days missing because I uploaded it early um, and I just pulled two different outfits that I had in the mirror, but uploaded that i'm really really hoping that it goes like off because i spent so much time on it but anyways okay this morning mrs Mannion and i are headed to ulta i got a gift card from them for christmas and she has a few gift cards so here's what i'm wearing my sweater is from shein and i have like a black lace bralette from arion underneath because it's super cropped these jeans are from shein i really wanted to try out my black platform converse today which is why i'm wearing straight leg jeans wearing that same buckle bag from romwe my necklace is from romwe as well and then these earrings i think are from Shein. They're a little bit smaller than my everyday hoops. And then I've got on a little claw clip. I'm about to grab a jacket. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's really cute. It's just very different for me. So anyways, all right, let's head to Ulta. I also should have mentioned that the reason I'm wearing no makeup is because I want to like do my makeup with the new things that I get today. So I'm makeup free now. Um, and I brought a mask to match my jacket. It's made by my mom. So cute. Alrighty, we are in Ulta and I've got just a few things so far. I needed eyelash glue. This is my favorite one. It's clear and it has a wand, so it's so much easier to apply. And then I have a LA Pro Girl concealer. Love this for under the eyes. And then these are my absolute favorite lip liners. They're the Essence three hour waterproof ones. And I picked up a new color. They have a couple of different options, but I don't really wear pink or red, just nudes. And I have the other two. So I picked up the one nude that I don't have. And I'm kind of just looking around. I wish I would have done a little research before I came to see what's new, what's good, but might pick up a foundation, might just wait and spend my gift card when I need to pick up like, you know, the essentials. I didn't end up getting anything else from Ulta, just the three things I showed you. Um, I figured I'd save my gift card for a time I'm in need. She got a bunch of stuff that she'll show you later and now we're walking around trying to find somewhere to grab some lunch from. Everything is just grab and go here. So I went into Noodles and Company. I'm trying the buffalo mac and cheese. What'd you get, pad, pad thai? Chicken pad thai. We'll let you know how it is. It looks good. Right, guys, it is 1.35 and that took a lot longer than I expected. Um, I'm not mad that it took that long, but I definitely need to hit the ground running now. I have a long list of things to do for different brands. I need to get a video up and I need to work on tomorrow's blog post. I have a blog post going up on Thursday and then one on Friday and they're all really important posts. New Year's outfits are going to go up tomorrow. Thursday, I want to share my best of 2020, which is where I recap the year. And then on Friday, my Style by McKen's turns five. Five, um, anniversary post goes up very near and dear to my heart one of the most important blog posts I write each year and it takes like the right mental headspace like you you know it, sometimes I get writer's block writing like important posts like that so I need to sit down and kind of work on that I wrote a little bit last night when I was like off camera and you know I didn't show you guys but I want to try and finish that up or at least edit the photos because there is a chance that I might be going to Kent for New Year's and that would mean that I need to have those blog posts ready to go before going there. 
So yeah, all right, I'm gonna grab my computer and we're just gonna sit in bed. I've been working in bed for like the last like week or so being here just because I don't have a desk up here, but all right, let's see what we can crank out. I'm gonna make a to-do list and then go from there. So it is many hours later. Somehow it's already six o'clock. I honestly have no idea where the day has gone, but I've gotten a good chunk of work done. The first thing I did was write tomorrow's blog post. It's been a while since I've written a blog post and scheduled it the day before, but I wanted to get working on my New Year's Eve outfit ideas with Princess Polly. I shot those pictures yesterday, scheduled that post to go up tomorrow. Then I got a YouTube video up for today, which is a Romwe try on haul, and I also scheduled my video for Thursday which is going to be a Fashion Nova try on haul. I worked on a couple of different thumbnails and then I posted an Instagram photo today that was sponsored by Romwe and then I got working on editing my Shein haul. This is going to go up at some point next week but I just wanted to start editing that. I do still want to write one more blog post today which is going to be my best of 2020 but right now I'm just kind of chilling out before dinner since it's already six o'clock. I figured after I eat and like fuel up I will hopefully have the motivation and the like headspace i guess i'll be in the right headspace to write it my plan is to just leave my phone in the other room all right guys i know i talked about grief um a few not a few weeks ago well yeah probably a few weeks ago now um and in that vlog i got an overwhelming amount of comments from you guys saying that you really appreciated me talking about the topic and that it just made you feel like you weren't alone or that you had just recently lost someone and not only like did it make me feel good that talking about it helped you guys but like it reminded me that like I'm not the only one that feels that way and goes through stuff so dinner was good um and I came upstairs and wanted to get working on my best of 2020 post and every year when I sit down to write this post I go through the previous years and read through what was going on um and I touched on in one of those blog posts obviously losing my aunt and I just felt so called to her and I remembered that for okay so for my 18th birthday um my mom gave us time capsules and the first few years of our life like all of our aunts and uncles had written letters and they had put them in the time capsule we had like school projects work accomplishments all these things first baby outfits all that kind of stuff were in this time capsule and on our 18th birthday, we were able to open these. There were so many cool things in there and it was really such an awesome thing that my parents did for us. But what was the best part about it was that one of the letters specifically was from Augie and she had obviously passed it within like a recent year or two. And so getting to read what she thought of us at 12 weeks old and what she like predicted for our life at 18 was so special. And I just felt called to read mine today. I'm not going to read it all to you, but I want to read this part because I just, oh my God, she said, your life is at a junction today. You now can make decisions that will shape your destiny. You have so much done for you and now you can make your choices. I know that you will do so with a passion. You have a shy assertiveness. You desire to try things but are humble about your accomplishments, and they are many, aren't they? Always follow your heart and you will succeed. You may hurt from time to time as our hearts have feelings and sometimes take us down a path that will bring us happiness and sorrow, but your heart's voice will always direct you to do what makes you happy. And if you do what makes you happy, I promise you will live a wonderful and fulfilling life. Always know that I am here for you and I hope you can use me for advice on as a sounding board, as a friend, as an aunt who will always spoil you Ryan. I love you my dear and I hope that you can find the peace and happiness that God has intended for you. And I just, that was just what I needed to read it as I sit here and I write this kind of like I don't know, recap of a year and I feel selfish for having such an awesome year when the world is like crumbling at its fingertips. Um, I'm just reminded by that I guess that like even at 12 weeks old when she wrote this like I'm so much of that and I know that she's here with me regardless and so I kind of just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm just randomly you know sitting here writing a blog post on a Tuesday evening 
and just like this wave of like being called by God to speak to her and then I remembered this letter and to read it again this is the first time I've read it probably since I opened it but it just I don't know I kind of wanted to share that with you guys so back to writing I go I finally did it I know I have mascara everywhere so ignore that um but I finally finished up this blog post, my best of 2020 blog post, 1,869 words. All the blog posts I've been writing lately have been like right around the 2,000 mark. And I don't really think that much of it, but like I think about when you write a paper, like this looks so stupid. I hope no one screen records this or yeah, bye. Um, but like 2,000 words is a lot of words, you know what I mean? Like think about how much you dread that for school and I just do it for fun. But this took me so much brain power and like willingness to write. Blog posts like this are so hard for me to like get in the groove for. Like it's almost like I just have to be in the right headspace. I get writer's block much more easily when it comes to this kind of thing. I usually don't really struggle with talking about clothes because it's very like cut and dry. Like you know like I know how to talk about clothes but when it comes to talking about your personal life, your feelings, how you've been, like just really looking back at a year it's really hard to put into words like quite literally like I sit there and I'm like I'm at a loss of words because I don't even know what to say so I finally like dug through all of my pictures for the year and I like put them in black and white like I always do and I really just sat down with my thoughts and I kind of recapped the year and you know so much of the year like sticks out when you do this and so I just finished typing this I have not edited it I have not added the tags I have not created the thumbnail and I'm not gonna do it tonight because it's 9 45 I know I had that little mental breakdown session which took me about like 45 minutes an hour but um, I honestly can't believe this is all, I do all I've done and yet at the same time like oh well it is what it is. Good so. morning everybody. It is Wednesday morning and it is 12.30 so I guess it's not the morning. I've been up since 9am and let's see what I've done. Um, okay so I finished editing that Shein haul and it took me a little bit longer than I thought. I hadn't really, I'd done like maybe a quarter of it last night. So I finished doing that and it is processing to YouTube as we speak and while I did that I also started editing a bunch of the photos for Style by Turns 5. I know I said I started editing them the other day but then I completely chose a new preset um, because I wasn't really in love with them. So I'm still not finished because there were so many pictures. GB took literally 2,000 pictures of me and so I narrowed it down to like 200 photos and from those 200 photos I still need to narrow it down to like you know 50 ish so I've kind of just been in the process of that I just got ready my hair is literally so greasy so I just sprayed there's so much dry shampoo in it right now but you know still looks kind of good put on a little bit of makeup I am not dressed yet I'm literally wearing a cowgirl shirt and sweatpants um, because I'm hungry and I'm about to make my debut downstairs I'm gonna eat some lunch and there was something else I did this morning. Oh, I chose, I responded to a bunch of emails and chose some new items for a couple of upcoming collabs. I'm eating lunch now. I'm having leftovers from last night. It looks kind of gross, but it's just, it's really good. It's, um, what's in this, mom? Cheese, salsa, cream cheese, maybe? Sour cream. Sour cream. So good. It's chicken, cheese, and rice, and then some salsa. I'm eating some chips, too. So it is 3 o'clock now. Don't ask me how. I have no idea. All I've done is edit a blog post, the best of 2020 that I talked about yesterday. I edited that and then I started writing a little bit more of my five-year post and I just cannot find the right words. I'm having the world's worst writer's block right now and so I have decided to just kind of switch things up and take a little breather from that. Basically, if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs, you would know that I'm doing like a huge um, room makeover with Ikea and it was supposed to happen before Christmas and then a few things like got in the way and so we moved the collaboration to like the first week of January and I'm getting entirely new furniture, a new bed, like new everything. So someone is actually coming to pick up my dresser, my nightstand, and my bookshelf this afternoon. Um, like later tonight, Madison sold it on Facebook Marketplace. So in the meantime, I'm gonna have no furniture in this room, like at all, except for my bed. So I need to go through my dresser and stuff and basically I'm just gonna move everything into our guest room. And for now, it's just gonna sit in there until I get the new furniture and it's built. 
I don't exactly know what day I'm going into Ikea to get new furniture. It might not be until the 5th, so there could be a solid week of me having no furniture in here. For now, oh well, it is what it is, so we're going to start moving this stuff, and I am literally dreading this, but you know what? While I go through, I'm going to try to get rid of some stuff and like put it into my sell slash donate pile, so... Let's get on with it, baby. I'm gonna start off with my swimsuits. Um, just because they are in the biggest drawer in here and I'm literally, all I'm gonna do is put them in this box because, I don't know, it just seems logical. So here we go. It took a good bit of time to clean out my drawers and to move the furniture clean it take it downstairs like vacuum all the dust and crap that was behind it it was honestly disgusting but this is what my room looks like now just have a couple of lamps on the floor and there's nothing in it i do have this one mirror here but that is literally about it that's in here my room looks so much bigger without any furniture in it um, sorry that it's so dark in here, but I actually have a really tiny room and you can kind of see you can like honestly just tell how small it is by the fact that I can fit all of the wall into the frame, but um, I have everything in here. So I have all my swimsuits, jeans, pants, socks, bras. I put all of the shoes that were on my um, bookshelf in these two Ikea bags and then like everything that was on my dresser is just on top of here. So yeah, this is kind of chaotic, a chaotic mess, but you know what? It's fine, it's fine. I have no furniture except for my bed, so I guess I have to sit in bed all day for, you know, however long until I get my furniture, but that's okay. But yeah, um, I'm actually going to hang out with the two girls I went to high school with, Kylie and Olivia, in about one hour. I don't really know what we're doing yet, but I haven't seen them I don't think since I graduated high school, maybe like once or twice since like in passing, but like we've hardly seen each other um, for more than an hour since we graduated. So I'm kind of excited to see them. You guys, there is just simply nothing better than finally finding your mojo and like getting out of a funk writer's block. Oh, it's the worst. And I, oh my God, I'm so excited about what I just wrote. I'm proud, I'm happy with how it turned out. And it is true what they say, like sometimes good things take time and I'm just, you know, I'm feeling good. I have to just finish closing out this blog post um, and like say my thank yous, but this should be relatively good to go on January 1st. I need to add the pictures and stuff still, so it's not done yet, but you know what? I made some good progress. I edited about half of that Princess Polly haul and now it is time for me to put shoes on and go meet up with Olivia and Kylie. We're just um, literally hanging out at her house, just the three of us, just chatting, catching up. And um, I'm headed over there like an hour and a half later than I thought, which actually ended up being good because I got a lot of work done. So yay, the mood lighting in my room right now. <laughs> morning, guys, happy Thursday, happy New Year's Eve. I am up and Adam this morning. I've been up since eight and I never even ended off the vlog last night, um, but I had a really good time catching up with Kylie and Olivia just kind of get in the scoop seeing what was up talked with Mike a little bit last night and decided really last minute to go to Kent for New Year's Eve I was kind of toying with the idea and like had been playing around with it all week and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go I'm only 19 once and I was like you know I would be doing nothing if I stayed here I would just be literally sitting in bed and then I'd walk downstairs to watch the ball drop on our TV so I'm just gonna go to Kent. Literally, I'm leaving in half an hour. It's 10:30 right now, and I'm gonna come home Saturday. It's gonna be super, super quick. But I figured, you know, why not? I'm staying with my big Allie. We haven't really ever done like anything like this, just the two of us. And I'm really excited to spend some more time together since I've gotten littles. I haven't seen her as much, so I'm excited to just have a little bit of bonding time. And she lives in one of our annex houses that has like seven or eight girls in Alpha Phi that live there. Only about half of them are going to be there. We're just going to hang out. I don't know. Figured it would be something fun to do. So yeah. Anyways, my bag is packed and already in the car. I've got my other purse. Instead of bringing my like big Louis bag, I'm gonna bring 
um, this purse, there's Tums in it, which is why it's making all that noise, but I'm actually just wearing the same thing that I wore yesterday. I only wore this for like two hours, so I figured it would be comfy and cute for in the car. Um, I've got on Converse, and then I'm also wearing this jacket from Romwe again. This set's from Fashion Nova. I don't know if I said that or not. And my makeup's already done because by the time I get there, it'll be like 4 o'clock, and everyone's going to kind of already be doing something, and Mike and I are going to go to dinner. So I just wanted to be ready now so I didn't have to worry about it, but... All right, gonna eat a bagel and then we're gonna get on the road. So I have made it to Kent. It's actually 5.45 right now. I'm getting ready to go to dinner. I just popped on a bodysuit from Princess Polly. My jeans are from Express and I'm wearing Converse, keeping things kind of casual. And then that same bag from Rami that I've been wearing pretty much all week. Um, I'm staying at Allie's, like I said. You guys have seen her room, I think maybe like a couple of times, not for long. It's a mess right now because she was trying to figure out something to wear, but gonna head out to dinner and see where the rest of the day takes us. Guys, I'm being basic because this is what I want. All right, I don't know what this is called, but we'll come back later and see if you can taste. All right guys, today we went to Applebee's and I'm gonna let my guest rate first. No camera shyness, okay. Okay, well first update them about the orange. Say that it didn't work. Yeah, so I've had two oranges. Um, mix them both with brown sugar, did all the, uh... Did what the TikTok said. Yeah. Um, it might have worked a little bit, but... Still not having my taste, I would say that it was a 7 out of 10, because I've had it, I've had it before and I know it's pretty good, so... That's what I'll do. A 7. Okay, I ate chicken tenders and french fries, and actually probably ate a third of it. And I'd probably give it... I'd probably give it a seven too because it's no hornet's nest. Their chicken tenders are dominant, and but I'm giving it an extra point because company was good, service was good, and I don't know. It just felt like a seven kind of night. Sevens across the board. Um, okay, well the second orange. When was last? When, when did you do the second orange earlier last today? Night. Last night. Yep. So we'll we'll give you guys a little update later if like after a full 24 hours on the second orange if it works but i still think it's worth a try the worst that you can do is waste an orange you know and you might get your taste back so keep posting bye guys holy shit you guys this vlog has just taken the most drastic turn i shouldn't even be giggling chuckling over it but I mean, everything that could have gone wrong today did, and I am home now, as you guys can tell. I think the last time I updated you guys was dinner with Mike. I don't 100% know, but we had fun, and I ended up ringing in the new year with Allie and her roommates and a few of their boyfriends, and I came back, showered around, you know, like 1 a.m., and went to bed, woke up in Kent, and kind of just like my plans for today had just like shifted, fell through, and Allie ended up needing to go home this evening and so I was like you know what what's the point of me waiting around to wake up and leave at 11 a.m. tomorrow when I could just go home now like I have no other plans and all of my friends I only had a few friends in Kent as it was and you know like I said things changed so I was like at 12 30 ish I was like all right you know what I'm just gonna hop in the car and I'm gonna drive home today I know it's really stupid to have gone for a day and it was a learning lesson to say the least like I wouldn't do it again but you know what it happened it is what it is so basically I am about 312 miles from home that's the distance from school to home and it usually takes about four hours 45 minutes when you put it into the GPS and I like I said I left at 1230 and it was raining when I left like just drizzling but it started to pour as I got on the Ohio Turnpike and as I moved from the Ohio to PA Turnpike um, that rain turned to sleet and hail really, really, really fast, and the roads were absolutely terrible. Um, once I, like, got, you know, like, into the Pennsylvania Turnpike portion, which is, like, a third of my drive is just literally 130 miles going straight, and about halfway through my drive, I actually got in a very bad car accident and totaled my car. Thank God I am okay. Um, more than anything, I'm just shaken up and just honestly terrified. Like, I literally just watched my life flash before my eyes. Um, so more than anything, I just kind of am like, oh my God. But I am thankfully walking away scratch-free. Nothing's wrong with me. I'll try to insert a clip of my car here and some photos. Basically, what happened is um, I was driving in the left-hand lane. I was on a three-lane highway. 
and there was a tractor trailer in front of me and I was like right here and I was like you know what this these like road conditions are really really shitty and I need to like make some more distance between us so I was trying to slow down I was only going about 40 45 miles an hour if that in a 70 but I was like you know trying to slow down hitting my brakes and as I was like doing that all of the stuff that comes off the back of a truck like the salt the slush the sleet it was hailing earlier all of it came and sprayed up on me and I completely lost control of my car it started fishtailing of course I tried to pump the brakes and as I did that I slid over into the right hand lane of traffic hit the back of my car with the guardrail and as I hit that I spun right back into the tractor trailer and the complete front of my car hit right into the back of the tractor trailer and I ended up like literally sitting face in the middle lane facing traffic like oncoming traffic um my airbag didn't go off but the side ones did and I just oh my god guys in the moment I was literally like I'm going to die right now like when I was like headed towards that tractor trailer I was like oh my god I regret taking everything in life for granted like in that moment I genuinely was like I'm going to die so thankfully like I said I am okay the tractor trailer didn't even stop I don't even think they knew that I hit them and um, the tow truck people that came, the um, paramedics, like the police, everyone was like, that's like actually like pretty common. A lot of times they can't even tell that something has hit them. Thankfully, I'm okay. Like I said, I was able to call 911. People came. Um, obviously, I held up traffic a little bit. Um, sorry if you were driving on the Pennsylvania Turnpike today and got caught up with me, but... Um, after like about an hour and a half waiting for the tow truck people, they were able to like take me back to their like resting area and I was about two and a half hours, three hours from home. My parents drove to that part of Pennsylvania, picked me up and we just drove back. So I am incredibly grateful. Um, I just feel like this has been such an eye opening day. Like I literally, I can't believe all the things that A, you take for granted in life and B, this morning that I was like thinking were such big things you kind of realize are so minuscule in the, in the big picture, you know, like those things don't really matter in life. And B, I am just so sad about my car, um, even though it was my fault that I lost control of the car, but you know, it could happen to anyone, I guess, but I loved my car so much. I drove a 2007 silver Nissan Murano. And I had gotten it in like March when we were quarantined. So I didn't even start driving the car until like May-ish. I absolutely loved it. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Um, as far as car goes, I am very traumatized and actually don't even think I can, like, I, I need a couple of days before I even get in the car, I think. But um, I've pretty much spent the entire day crying. So I'm actually impressed that I have not cried for you guys here on camera, but it's just been quite the day and now it is 9 30 at night it's yeah it's been one of those days but i'm so grateful for all my friends that reached out um and that dealt with me mike if you're watching this big hearts for just being so supportive um and yeah also today is styled by mckenzie's fifth birthday um, a very special day near and dear to my heart and usually I would be shedding tears over that all day and I still cried all day on New Year's just you know for a different reason this year but I am going to spend the rest of the night I'm going to take a shower because I feel disgusting but I need to respond to some of you guys comments and post another photo and you know just kind of like at least try to take the remainder of the day to be grateful celebrate so I love you guys um I think I'm going to end this vlog off here I'll start another one tomorrow but yeah. What a day. Happy New Year. I mean, it can only go up from here, right? That's what I'm telling myself. Love you guys. Bye.